Hello and welcome back to the Moon Kitties of Vaniki. And the last episode I was talking about dropping three members of the group and getting mercenaries. And so I did that. I uh, I did that. I'm like, see here. I have the shaman, I have the bard, and I have two rogue mercenaries. I do have a cleric mercenary just to uh, see how this is actually going to work, right? And as you can see, the DPS is 1,000. <laughs> uh, each of these these guys are doing almost uh, four, 500, 400 DPS per. And I, if I added another one, <laughs> this would just be absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, uh, what I'm what I'm doing with my my characters? They're so undergeared. Their their weapons are. I'm just not able to react fast enough right as the them and it is just i don't even have to think about this i'm just like mowing these guys down i was gonna go back to plane of fear uh but when i left there there was uh it was just a little bit boring um i think if i could get to the other part of the zone it would probably be, probably be better but this is this is fine this is point eight uh, it's just a little bit different but it's just insane how much damage these guys are doing compared to uh what i was doing with my other three characters and one of those was a healer right so that's kind of why i picked the uh the healer mercenary is so that i could kind of have a little little closer to apples to apples you know what i mean uh because the druid was just healing me and that's pretty much the whole purpose of it but now i don't even have to think uh I could probably I could probably switch the shaman out for one of the other characters and stuff. And I, you know, I think this might be the way I'm going to do this going forward. Like the only reason I added the extra characters is cuz I wanted to fill out the group, but at the same time I wanted uh I wanted masks on those characters and now I I mean I, all I need is the stuff the all I want are the primal things, so like I can, I could easily just go like this, and when I get 75, I could drop in the other characters and just power level them. I mean, that's that's like the smart way to do this, and this is the way I would do it uh, normally, right? Is I, I just power level the character after I don't I don't need to do it anymore, right? It's just insane, <laughs> like. Like they're just like I'm not even I'm not even map to think anymore, and you know that's probably going to be the way that you know I would want to do this is like oh someone's almost like 600 DPS it's just insane like I'm doing 200 DPS and these guys are just smoking me and they're pulling so much aggro I can't even hold aggro I don't have an input raging blow weapon or anything like that so but. I, you know what? This is this is actually pretty fun. <laughs> I'm actually having fun with these characters right now. That's actually an item uh, someone can wear. Yeah, let's send that to those guys, uh, and we'll deal with that later. But uh, yeah, just running through here, and these are even con mobs too. Like they're point eight per. I, I'm gonna probably do my lesson here because it's more mobs than plane of fire. Uh, in the the area that I could get to without aggroing those names, but like not having to think about a lot of this stuff makes it a lot more enjoyable, and I might be able to finish this series out quicker and uh, get it going. But it's it, yeah, some it, this is all strung from a, a comment someone had made on one of my videos asking me uh, what the DPS was of these guys and. Uh, you know, running the rogue, right, without having, like, the epic, right? So we're, we're skipping lots of content, and especially on this Vaniki server, right? I'm not going to do an epic, so I'm not doing any of that stuff. And not having epic really hinders me, because I'm not ha I'm not getting those extra stats, and I'm not get I don't have raid weapons, any of that stuff. And none of that matters to mercenaries, right? They are, they are, like, best in slot for whatever level they are, for whatever it is. Like... It's it's almost not even fair, but it is a different experience for sure, and uh, we're probably gonna hit 64 here in a minute. 
plowing through this. There we go, we got some intricate defiant stuff. Uh, let's just put these on. Roll, I'm just looting everything, I don't care right now. Figure it out later. But, yeah, it's just so much more fun. And I think that's something this series, for me, has always been lacking, right? Like, I've always, I, like, I prefer playing Tawani, right? And like, this this was always like a chore, uh, even though it was something I wanted, right? I wanted to get those masks. But now, this might make this a little bit more interesting for me. And maybe I can, I'll do more than one video a damn week. And, but yeah, it's just a weird, uh, we got three? Alright, we got two. Uh, just a weird comment that made me think about some stuff and uh, try some different things, right? Like, you can see the damage is just crazy. And can't tell if the shaman's actually doing work or not. I have to I have to modify their macros to make them make a little bit more sense. Like, I'm, I'm taking three even cons and the healer mercenary is, is, is doing, it all, doing all the work, right? Looks like the shaman is like low on mana. Not sure why. Bard is playing the song. There we go. But not having to worry about healing is like one of the one of the biggest issues I have. Like I I, I lose I lose my my attention span really quick, and watching all the health bars and stuff just bores me. That's why I'm doing a, uh, I'm gonna do a heroic series without a dedicated healer uh, and see how that goes. Because I think the mercenaries can, the mercenary healer is probably the best one uh, out of all of them. Like, oh jeez, almost got smoked there. We got two named right there. Alright, so we're gonna get both of those here in a second. Get them. We'll do them both at the same time. See how see how strong these guys are, because I can't mess it. I don't. I'm not even gonna bother trying to lull it. I don't even have like burns set up. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, I do have the area taunt and rampage, so I should be able to tank them both. I'll go defensive, and that should work out for me. All right, let's go ahead and grab you. Get on over here, guys. All right, we're gonna go defensive. We're gonna area taunt. We're gonna rampage and we're gonna whirlwind. There we go. We're gonna set this to roll so I don't have to see this stupid pop up anymore. There we go. We're taking two yellow naved <laughs> at the same time. Uh, and we're doing massive amounts of DPS. I could probably do something with a shaman here, right? There we got the the uh Poison Dot. Alright, I lost aggro. So let me see if I can pull aggro off that one. Switch back here. Go. Highly resistant to slow. There we go. Go, go, Rose. 800, I mean, on two yellow names, they're doing 800 DPS. Not too bad, I'm only doing almost nothing. There we go, get the giant. What did he drop? All right, Ring of Thunderous Spirits. Looks like a tank ring to me because I don't have rings. I don't even have, I don't even have stuff in my armor slots. That's how bad it is. There we go. Can we? Turn these just a little bit. There we go. Bard's doing damage now. Both rogues are back there. Phenomenal. Almost leveled. So let's take a look at this ring. What do we got on? We got a Band of Twilight, which is 10 AC. And we got a Decrepit Telosian Band, which is 45 inch points. Oh man, I actually, I feel like those are better. Um... Like, wow, everybody gets one. Good job. All right, everybody gets a ring. Nice. What are these special parchments? I think I can turn those in and sell those. 
There we go. Perfect. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot the server is the one with like the double drops. <laughs> I was like, what? Ah uh, yeah, I got a mold on the first one and then I got the ring and then I think she put it on, yeah. They don't even have rings on. Well, the healer might actually. She has what? Band of Twilight and a dragon touched ring. Yeah, I don't know where I got the Band of Twilight. Alright, let's just keep killing these guys. Whirlwind. Low, running low on endurance. After that, uh, there, there we go. That fight, but yeah, we're about to level 64. So the level cap right now is 75 uh, on Viniki. So that, uh, I mean, we're only like 10 levels away, you know, give or take, right? So we are very close to the end of this, and I think I'm just going to go with the three characters uh, and go forward. And might I might what I might do is alternate the episodes. So it'll be like this, these three, and then the next one will be the other three. But I might just power level them. Like <laughs> all I have to do is drop the shaman from the group <laughs> and bring in one of the other ones and go kill some stuff for a few minutes, and they're leveled up. That's how it's going to be at seventy-five. So I don't think it'll be too big a deal. And uh, just kind of swap swap them in and out and get them leveled up that way or just group them uh with the warrior at uh at 75 and then have two two mercenaries and have the shaman out of group healing me that's another way i could do it because the level range is like 15 i think at this point so the 10 uh 63 to 75 should be fine. But we'll see. Okay, we're just mowing this stuff down. It is just a phenomenal time for me. And I bet we could go back to Plane of Fear. Or not Plane of Fear, Plane of Fire and do some stuff there. Uh, but I do have some actual plans I wanted to do with this series later on uh, involving some older content. And hopefully... Uh, I can get these guys to 75 before the level cap increases again and try something interesting for me. I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, this is uh, going pretty well. Uh, Shaman, do you have Cannibalize yet? I feel like you should, you do. Like, uh, do I not even have it on your bar? There it is, right there. Cannibalize. Alright, we got another named. Perfect. I love killing names. It's the most fun fun thing in the world. Fight a mob that's, you know, it's just a little bit stronger than the other ones, but it's still stronger. And sometimes they have a better, you know, different kind of AI or something like that. They do something unique. But definitely I like the challenge of some of these. Alright, we're just going to run in. Get them both at the same time. We're going to whirlwind, but we don't have enough stamina. So we're going to uh, just kind of face tank this. Uh, looks like the bard's actually face tanking the the other one there. I'm going to try to grab him. Insight, taunt, spam. All right, now the, now the healer mercenary is taken. Perfect. I just don't have the stamina to uh, do anything taunt-wise for this guy. There we go, I got him again. There we go, I incited Valbrand. I should probably take the horn out of her offhand. I think she has the brass armor mod now. There we go. Taunt him again. It's just difficult to get aggro without having any kind of weapon uh, for aggro. It's difficult. There we go. We got one. Let's 
turn around here just slightly. There we go. All right, what do we get? We got a great staff of thunder, planar stun. All right, I'll take it. I think that's better than what I got. It's a warrior only too. Uh, give that to you. What's that? Ornate leather helm. Just throw that on you. And throw that on you too. Might be able to get spell free. Alright, so that is a 1-3 ratio two-hander with a proc. This is a 0.75 ratio one-hander. Uh, so what we're going to do is swap these out. And I just noticed I never even bought the Wolf of Night Yogs. I could explain a lot, right? Uh, greens and Burning Sand. I think that's a selling. And Sandstorm Medallion. Uh, maybe selling? I don't know. We'll find out at some point, won't we? Alright, we got a two-hander now, so... Just use that for what it is. Now it's we don't I don't think I have any two handed yeah, I'm at eleven two handed skill. So this is gonna lower my DPS there for a little bit, but eventually it'll do more because it's a better ratio. And it has a proc on it, so that proc should give me a little bit more aggro, theoretically. But we'll see. I mean it's not like it matters. These things die instantaneously. <laughs> It's just a joke. There we go. Cannibalize on the shaman. There we go. And the skill should go up pretty quick. I'm live. Ah. Uh, on live maybe this server it looks like everything just levels so much faster than it used to like you see every swing we get a skill up so uh, definitely uh better there we go there we go and we hit 64 we get a lot of additional add-ons to our current level of aa so that's nice and I don't think the other people did <laughs> level. Yeah, uh, the bard leveled and the shaman hasn't, so. Uh, looks like we got an add, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Go, I don't even have to worry about it. These, the mercenary tank is just overpowered in every possible way. But there we go, Let's see if I can get a taunt on him. Nope, failed. That says I captured him, so I, I did get him. All right, we got another Blessing of Hagnar. Uh, this thing just rots, I guess, since I don't have anybody who can loot it. All right, we're going to tag this guy with an arrow. Got them both. Didn't work out the way I wanted it to. There we go. Perfect. So just let whoever's tanking that one tank it healer can heal it. No big deal. Go. Got it. And burn. Now we're going to go over here. And let's just leave these on the corpse so this thing doesn't pop up every time. Yeah, so we're hitting pretty hard. And there's no fabled mobs yet. And there is a fabled Bajiran Thunderclap, but it's not like Plane of Fear, or Plane of, Plane of, Plane of Fire, where uh, they were roamers in the middle of the, in the middle of the zone where I wanted to fight, right? So definitely a better experience. All right, what else is in this room? Is this? Let's see if this is a guy up here. Hopefully it's a different one, not this one. These things are just melting away. Alright. Got you. 
Perfect. But, uh, yeah, so <laughs> this has been a different experience entirely uh, than what we've done so far, right? We're pushing 500, let's say 500 DPS. It varies, right? 450, 500. I saw over 600 DPS on a few hits on some of these uh, rogues. It is just a completely different experience. What level is this guy? Level 80. Why on earth are you here? Why on earth is there a level 80 in a level 20 zone? Fabled my career. I mean, come on. Couldn't even take him if I wanted to. He's going to hit me for like 5,000. <laughs> and just one shot me because I only have 9,000 hit points. So, uh, definitely, uh, I'm having more fun now. And I think what we'll do is what exactly what I said. So I'm going to continue leveling on these guys like this with three. Uh, with the uh, mercenaries. And then we're going to power level the other guys uh, back up. And I think at like 70 I can go grab them and go kill whatever uh, level 70 mobs I'm killing at the time and just level up the 60s real quick and then just kind of synchronize them all back up to the same level and then uh, see where it goes from there and yeah i just this is much uh a much more pleasant experience less easier for me to do videos on i know i get a lot of comments on uh like i'm over doubting or i'm doing something else overly uh it's because i it's hard to pay attention and talk at the same time and try to box like six characters so this is going to just be a overall quality of life ex change for me why am i not getting healed why is she not in the group <laughs> what happened here unsuspend oh she doesn't have the money to pay for this oh man all right how much money do i got split ten thousand where is that even typing Did you get 10,000? You got 3,000, so that works. There we go. I was like, why am I not getting healed? All right, a, cru a corrupted blue diamond uh, amulet. Uh, we'll send that to Yurd. Doesn't look like he already had it. All right. There we go. That was worried me there for a second. All right. But yeah, so that's going to be the plan moving forward. And then uh, when we hit uh, 75... Oh, uh, we'll be good, and I'll probably pause the series for a little bit while we uh, wait for House of Thul to unlock, which will, I think is level 80, right? Uh, calendar, so it's April, and yeah, June 8th is when the next one is, so House of Thul level 80, so... I think I can get 75 before then, and uh, it'll be easy time. Easy, easy time. And then uh, House of Thule's fun. Uh, House of Thule at 80, I don't think it's going to be very fun, though. Maybe with Mercenaries. Might be. It might be doable. <laughs> it is an easier expansion. But we'll see. Alright. There we go. And I think we'll go ahead and end this episode here. I'm just going to be grinding this for a little bit. And then uh, probably burn my lesson. And get that done for the day. Doing the exact same circle I just did around uh, this area here. But uh, definitely a eye-opening experience. Seeing how much more damage the mercenaries are doing over my uh, rogue and beast lord. So uh, that, that's not going to scale. I can tell you that right now, that that will not scale past, uh, into the upper 80s. Uh, like, my mercenary with, uh, the 20 series does, like, 10 to 15k damage. 20 does 40 to 60k damage. And the bard does 20 to 30k sometimes. So, it does not scale, and it's probably something just for this, this period in time. But I'm also undergeared on those characters, so they are not doing their fullest and I think we're just gonna mess around with this for a little while and then uh, I'll probably eventually bring them all back in 
at the same time as a, as a group. But I'm going to mess around with this, see if I can get get my lesson done at least, and then see if I want to continue uh, doing that. But I think it's just going to be a, light, a lot easier for me to make videos for these characters with three characters instead of uh, six for the time being. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and please have a fantastic day. Thank you.